We're here to announce the next steps in the project that will assure Philadelphia and the Philadelphia region, including the other side of the river and down the river, uh, has a competitive edge when it comes to the international uh, trade, maritime trade. It's an edge that translates really into one four-letter word, jobs. I'm authorizing $15 million from the Commonwealth Capital Budget to continue the work of deepening the port, deepening the river as it comes up here. This will um, increase Pennsylvania's commitment to $45 million for this project. But I see a return on investment in this because I see jobs for Pennsylvania, for the region, for the city of Philadelphia. This is money that I believe is well spent. It saves existing jobs and, more importantly, creates new jobs. Already, you have 700 ships that dock at the Philadelphia port in a given year. When this dredging is done and the larger ships can travel to our area, that number could rise to as high as 1,500. Think about the number of jobs that that means. It's an investment in the future. It's an investment in the jobs that we need to have right now. So a deeper river opens the way for world trade, an economic high tide of sorts. Just as our river is about to become deeper, Southport, where we are standing, is also about to become a reality. The Philadelphia River Port Authority, working with the Delaware River Stevedores and Hyundai Merchant Marine, will be taking custody of 180 acres of property that was formerly part of the, na of the naval shipyards. The construction phase of the new terminal and ship berths means two to 3,000 direct jobs. The Delaware River, with its miles of ports, has helped to define and create American life. If we go back to our founder, William Penn, he traveled its waters in his journey to the New World. In times of war, this port has offered safe harbor to our warships. Today, it remains a hub of trade with far reaches throughout the world. These waters are an asset, and we must look at them as an asset that we need to protect and that we need to develop. 